Hello everyone this is Mukundan Raghavan and today we are going to explain or explore about the shadow dom shadow dom can be the crucial part if you are developer or if you are the test automation engineer in both cases understanding shadow dom will be very essential let's start with the very basic thing what is dom as you know that every html page will have three main core components which are html css or css style sheets and javascript where html will be given as a structure or hierarchy that you see on your left side of the screen which will have the top root as a document then after you will be having the html and body inside the html and body you will be having the different tags in the different hierarchies this will give the structure to your html page however the styling part will be taken care by the css where based on the different styling you will be giving the let's say the color the background the font size you may be giving the different styles to that by using the style sheet and third main core components would be javascript where it will control all the actions oriented things when you click on something when you mouse over something what should happen those kind of things will be handled by the javascript now coming to the dom structure dom structure is the document object model which means you will have the different hierarchy like html under the html you will be head under the head you will be having the title and so on and this will be helpful when the browser gets your html page it will create the same tree like structure the best part is in the developer tools by using the document object which will be predefined and existing for you by using the document object you can manipulate anything over the browser this is a basic understanding about the document object model now coming to the shadow dom as we clearly understood what is dom shadow dom is the another part this again means for shadow document object model which is the latest technology maybe in the web development or it is for long time but both the cases it encapsulates the structure styles functionality of the web component as the complexity increases of the web page you will be having the different components and different tags applying the styles may impact and you may not have the control all over the page basically we need the isolation of the specific web component and its styles so that no matter how many times you change in the style sheet how many times you access from the external javascript it will be intent for that reason we are going to use the shadow dom in very simple words you will be having your own specific custom tags for example in html you might be having the div tag paragraph tag and the anchor tag and so on the same way when you want to create the custom tag at the same time you don't want to interfere that styles by the external other tags and the style sheets you have the total isolated web component custom component with the styles in that scenario you will go for the shadow dom this is the basic understanding about the shadow dom now more than theory we will try to get more thing in the hands on let's go into the hands on however for the basic people we can try to understand the very simple html here you can see it starts with the html tag and head tag and it will be having the body in that body purposefully have created two h1 or two headers which will be once one inside the div tag another will be outside the div tag and you can create the style sheet separately as a dot css files however for demo purpose we can have the same styling inside the html itself by using the style tags here you can see in the simple html itself if i apply the color of the h1 it will apply to both where it will apply outside the div tag and inside the div tag because it follows the h1 no matter whether it is present in the div tag or paragraph tag or anywhere else in the html it will be applied with the style so that's the reason it will be very challenging that if you have the very complex html not like this but in the actual enterprise applications it will be very difficult and as you see in the simple.html we are using all the simple tags which are given by the html itself we are not using any custom tags so for that reason we will try to understand the another example which is index.html now index.html we have again one more h1 tag which shows a regular dom header which means that it comes under the dom structure 
another shadow dom we are going to add as a script the same way you can add the script from the external file .js files but for demo purpose we are writing every script inside the html by using the script tag now here in the style part i am applying the same thing blue but here you can see this blue color has been applied only to the regular dom header which is part of the body but now here we don't have any custom tag as a html part and we don't have any shadow everything has been done through the script the point here to be noted you can add the shadow dom by using only the script now let's see the very simple code snippet how to create the custom element and how to make that as a shadow element here you can see the first document create element as you know that document is the variable you can avail and you can use that same to create the element here purposely i'm creating the tag name as a m title so that it will be the custom element by using that custom element i am just attaching the shadow to that this is the point you are making this custom element as the shadow which means that after that whatever that comes under this shadow root everything will be isolated now here you can see shadow root we have created by attaching the shadow when you attach the shadow there are mode which means if you mention mode open still the people can access from the document object or let's say you can access from the javascript however still it is isolated if it is closed you cannot access that you can see only in the html rendering let's have the shadow root here in the shadow root i am just adding the inner.html and here i am adding the shadow dom header and i am adding the style itself then after that so far we have created the element we have make it as a shadow root under the shadow root we added some elements again for h1 then after we are showing or we are actually adding to that container container is nothing but your body after adding to that again we are applying the style now here you can see the style has been applied only to the regular dom header not to the shadow dom header because shadow dom header has its own custom styles which is read in this case now let's try to understand from the browser perspective also basically people will open the browsers let's open and click on inspect right click and inspect and here you can see the total document object model which we have discussed in the theoretical way and script and the custom title here you can see first of all we created the m title which is by using the create element then after we added the dom or we added the sorry we added the shadow root so that's where here you can see shadow root with the open mode then after we just added the inner text which is h1 and its style however outside that shadow you have your own style which is h1 so here you can see if i just minimize the m title you have the style part which is common to entire html or a document but inside the m title you have your own h1 your own style so that's the reason we are not able to change the color even though we apply from the outside as blue now coming to the console everything can be controlled by the document object let's type document and here you can see everything right the same code so basically using the object we can control lot of things let's go again document and then body again you can navigate to the any specific part and you can control that for example let's imagine you want to change the style from the document object so very simplicity just you can just use this code or even you can type it here document body we have seen and query selector which will query the entire dom structure in that i am just getting the h1 and i am just going to change it to green as we already know that we have created the sham dot sham dom so which means that it will not have any impact because of this query you can see this green color has been applied only to the regular dom header not to the shadow dom but the question arises here either the developer or your automation tester you want to access that so how do you access so that's where the second part comes the second part also will be very simple let's try to understand this code snippet and this is possible only because in the code we have mentioned the mode as open so that's the reason we are able to access that let's go back to this and try to understand more here you can see document.query selector and even you can mention the m title 
let me remove this to make it very simple m title obviously you will be getting only one element in that you are just calling the another object called shadow root if this element has the shadow root it will be taken from the shadow root you need to query again h1 then again you need to change it to some color for example let me change it to blue and now you can access the shadow dom also the same code snippet can be taken from your let's say the developer tools and can be used in your selenium by using the javascript executor in case if you feel like this is a little difficult to get all this query and all just go to the elements and see here you want to just update this h1 tag right just right click and you can see something called copy and in that you can see the copy js path you just type it and go to the console and just for clarity i clear it and right click and paste you will get the same kind of query so you don't need to type every time document dot query selector and so on you can directly go to the elements right click but you need to click on the copy and copy js path so that it will be getting the the entire document method and query selector and so on so let's summarize what we have seen we have seen what is dom structure first of all right so dom structure we have seen this is a document object model we have seen main three core components which are html css and javascript html is the structure css is the styling part to style your color images and font size and so on and javascript is the one where you will control the actions over the html page now we have seen what is shadow dom shadow dom basically we need the isolated custom web component where its styles are reserved and it is not impact impacted by the external elements that's why we need the shadow dom then we have seen the basic structure simple.html where the h1 styling is applying to anywhere in the body anywhere in the html because it does not have any isolation then we have seen another example in the script wise how to create the custom element and how to add the shadow to that and what are the modes open and close open means you can still access the shadow root then after we have seen the applying changes will not be impacting the shadow root and shadow root elements and here if you go to the html again here you can see so here m title is the shadow host because this is the tag or element which hosts the shadow then shadow root this is where the shadow root starts and inside the whatever the element comes that will be the shadow elements then even if you have more hierarchy here that will be considered as a shadow area then we have seen how to get the easiest shadow root elements a js path by right clicking and copying the copy js path so this is all about this video thanks for watching and have a great day